Hello everyone, I am Basit. Today we are going to learn how we can implement drag and drop in our React application. So this will be the final result of our today's video. So let's get started. The first thing is to insta install React Beautiful DND. So just copy this command line from here and go to your terminal and install the npm package. I have the package already installed. So now I need to start implementing it. So here is the so here is the GitHub official page of React Beautiful DND, and here we can see there are few components that we need to implement. The first one is <coughs> drag drop context. So inside this component, we will have to wrap the part of our application that we want to have drag and drop enable form. Let's import drag and drop context first. So at the top of our application, we need to import it over here. Drag drop context. And then we have to wrap the area where we want to implement the drag and drop. So I want to wrap. So I want to wrap everything that is inside my container component. So just type drag drop context. And then close it over here. The next thing is we need to import droppable. Droppable component is an area that can be dropped into. Well, this area will contains our items that we want to drag around so at the top we need to import this first droppable and then inside drag drop context we need to import it over here so now droppable is a bit different from drag, drag drop context we need to write a function inside this with an argument provided and inside this function we will have to wrap our list and we need to pass id to the droppable and that will be droppable id it can be anything in my case it's list and then to the list we need to pass few props so the first one will be Operator provided dot droppable props and then the second one will be ref equal to provided dot in a ref and hit control s now if we will go back to the browser we will see nothing we can't move anything so now the final thing that we need to import is draggable draggable is the item that we will drag around so First, import draggable over here, and then draggable and droppable is a bit similar because we inside both of the components we will have to write a function. So over here, we need to pass draggable, and then close it over here, and inside this we need to write a function with an argument. Provided, and now we need to move this key item to our triangle component over here. And then the second is we need to pass uh, draggable ID, and this ID must be a string. So, in my case, I have an array in my React hook with the name items data, and inside this, I have IDs which is an integer so, so you if in your case it's an already id so then no need to write two string to the item dot id but if it's already an integer like here you guys can see so then we will have to add one extra step over here and that will be item dot id dot to string just to convert our id to string and then the last will be index we have already the index in our map function so just need to pass index over here and then we need to pass few props to our paper component over here and the first one will be ref dot inner ref and then here we need to write spread operator provided dot draggable props and then the last one will be provided dot drag handle props now hit control s 
and go back to the browser and here now if I mouse over my items I can see the cursor is being changed so we can now drag our items up and down but now, now after dragging our items you can see the our items is getting back to their official position again and again so we need to fix this so in order to fix this we need to pass a function to our drag drop context component over here so that will be on drag end so we need to read a function for this let's suppose handle drag end and we need to create this function over here with a prop result and let me console this result to see what we can receive in our console so open up the console over here and now if I move let's put third item to the second and here we can see the draggable id type source each and everything over here and the destination so now we need to write a few lines of code to update our initial array so let's do that so first we need to check if the result destination exists if not then we need to return not result or destination and return and then we need to get our array from our hook state which is data so we need to write const items and then array dot from data and then we need to sort this array over here const order data and that will be items dot splice result dot source dot index second parameter one and then in the next step we need to splice it and the splice result from destination dot index second part will be zero and third will be this pre-ordered data array and then the last step we need to update our data over here so with the help of some data we can update that and then items hit control s go back to the browser clear our console and now if i move the item second to the top and here we can see that our items are getting stuck to the top but now here we can see few errors in our uh, console the first one is we need to write uh, placeholder that will be provided dot placeholder just copy this go back to the editor and below the draggable component we need to write this function over here control s go back to the browser refresh the page and now we can see our console is clear and now we can easily so now we can easily drag our items we have spelled misspelled the source just or go back to the browser again and now if i move the camera to the top so it's working good now we can see that it's on the top now so this is how we can implement drag and drop in our react application with the help of react pretty full and npm package if you like the video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much